Let's take a look at this uh, example. I created a um, quad surface for this object and I extended it a little bit so I can create a nice uh, surface with trimming the bottom of this uh, object with my extruded surface and I can select and when I trim this I will just uh, generate a nice uh, surface which can be exported into the other packages and then normally for the purposes of manufacturing I may want to actually thicken this surface of course you can do it in any other packages but I'll show that you can also do nicely in quick surface so I'll just delete my trim surface and I'll start from here and will hide temporarily my extruded surface so what uh, quick surface offers you is just uh, step by step to help you with this process if I select my quote surface I can right click and duplicate Duplicate is, does nothing but just uh, creates another identical shape. Now I will just go and edit my quad surface. And what I need to do now is actually change the shape. Quick surface offers you an offset function. And you provide the value in which direction you want uh, the surface to be offset. So if it's a negative, it will shrink the surface. Or if it's a positive, it will just uh, expand the surface. So I would like to tell you how this uh, functionality works. Uh, quote surface has uh, a control net and uh, every con point on the control net has orientation. So if I just uh, select the manipulator to walk, you can see the direction at every point. For example, here it goes outward, here is uh, in this direction. So how the um, Offset works, it just takes these points and offset with this uh, specific value. Why I say all this? Because uh, when we offset the um, surface, it actually will be applied on the control net and not on the actual surface. The actual surface will be generated from the offset um, control net. So let's try and do this and now just uh, offset with a value of minus one so it can go. Um, uh, smaller like this one you can always press ctrl z to undo let's try to offset in the other direction for example two it will just uh, make it bigger ctrl z but now in this case because um, the surface is um, I need to make it uh, smaller I will just use my value of minus one millimeter and then you press ok so what happened now, we actually have two surfaces, which are uh, the original one and the offset one. And I will just go now and show my extruded surfaces, which be my trimming tool. I select everything and press trim. The software is initialized. I can just click and I can remove the surfaces I don't need. And when I press OK, we get a nice and smooth and good looking solid body which can now be exported into other packages for processing and further use. Thank you for watching.